In this session you will learn about secondary cost elements in SAP, ECC and also in SAP s on-premise. So we have already learned that primary cost elements depend on general ledger accounts and for all of the general ledger accounts existing in the system that are of type profit and loss account we create primary cost elements accordingly. Secondary cost elements on the other hand are maintained completely independent from any other accounts. So those kind of cost elements are utilized solely by controlling for the purpose of internal cost allocation. Now let's check the creation of secondary cost elements. This is done via transaction code KA06. That's KA06. First of all, we insert an ID. So this ID can be up to 10 digits and alphanumeric. Let's just say test 01 for instance, and a validity period for the secondary cost element. So let's say the 1st of January 2023 with an infinite end date. We could also create from reference as always. Now let's hit enter on our keyboard and we are forwarded to the master data maintenance screen. Here we can provide a name for the secondary cost element. Let's just say test secondary cost element also over here for the description. And as always, the name can be up to 20 characters to description up to 40 characters. And then here for the basic data, also mandatory is the cost element category. The same we have also seen for the primary cost elements. However, here we can select different cost element categories, as you can see over here. I wrote down the three most important categories for you. So category 42, this one is used to allocate costs based on keys to other controlling objects. Category 43 is used to allocate costs to other cost objects based on the activities performed. And category 21, this is used to allocate costs from so-called internal orders to other controlling objects, for instance, to cost centers. For the categories 42 and 43, the sender objects, so the objects actually sending costs to other objects are cost centers. Receiver objects for the categories 42, 43 and 21 so those objects receiving the costs allocated to them, those could be cost centers, internal orders, and so on. Let's here just specify the type 42 as an example. The attribute mix is used to identify the cost element more easily, and the functional area is grayed out over here, as this is specified in the global data on company code level and also needs to be activated in the customizing. Then we have here the indicator tab, and also the default account assignment, but those two tabs over here do not differ from what we can maintain also for primary cost elements. So as those are more advanced topics, we will leave them for now. Let's now save the cost element and you can see the cost element has been created. Let's imagine we want to change the cost element that we created. So if we want to change the secondary cost element, we can always go to more cost element change and then select the cost element. And as you know, the name and description can always be changed. However, if we want to change basic data like the cost element category, for instance, from 42 to 43, this we should only do and we can only do if there are no dependencies in the system already. So the only possibility here would be to create a new analysis period. Therefore, we go to more edit analysis period. And over here, we would create a new period. This is normally done for a new fiscal year. So we click on other period, provide validity start date, which would be the 1st of January 2024, for instance. Now we can change the category to 43, save this one. And if we now display the cost element again via more cost element display and hit enter, we can see that we now have two different data sets for separate validity periods. So this one here, 2023, will have our cost element category 42 and the other one starting from January 2024 will have the cost element category 43. One more important remark, when allocating costs with secondary cost elements, the amount allocated always equals the sum of amounts received by the receiving objects. So for instance, if we send 100,000 euro and we allocate it to two cost centers, both of the cost centers take 50,000 euro each. So every cost allocation with a secondary cost element is a so-called zero sum game and the allocations are not visible in accounting. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video. If so, please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to activate the bell. See you next time.